Hi, I'm Linda Pettit, one of the environmental education specialists for the Franklin Soil and Water Conservation District. And we are going to talk about erosion. Erosion is the process where soil is moved by wind, water, or ice. Here in Ohio, it's caused mostly by water erosion. We have plenty of rain. So we are going to watch to see what happens when it rains on the land. And I'm sure you could tell these were my lovely fluffy rain clouds in our soil erosion simulator we're going to use today. It is going to rain from our lovely fluffy rain clouds onto our different land areas that we have below. We have plain soil here. We have soil with mulch on top of it here, wood chips, leaves, things like that, anything to cover the ground. We have soil growing, or sorry, grass growing in the soil here. And we have pavement, driveway, parking lot, roadway, something like that, um, where the soil um, is covered by something hard the water can't get through. It's going to run across each one of these land areas, go through the gutters that you see here, and collect in the measuring cups at the bottom. When the water runs off the land, we magically call it runoff. We are going to look at that runoff um, as being in creeks, rivers, lakes, or ponds, because when the water runs off the land, it runs to a body of water. We're going to compare what that runoff looks like from each of our different land areas. Now, this is a science experiment. So with any science experiment, we have some things that are exactly the same, the constants or the controls. Those are our clouds, for example. They all have the same number of holes in them. Our containers with um, our soil types are all on the same slope. And we're going to try really hard to pour the same amount of water at the same time in each one of them. The variable is the thing we're testing. How does water react when it hits bare soil? How does water react when it hits soil with mulch on top of it? Or soil with grass growing in it? or a paved surface. You, the scientist, are the predictor. You need to think about what's going to happen. What do you expect to see as the water hits each one of these different land areas? Which one do you think the water is going to run off from first? Which one's going to have the most water collect in the beaker when we're done? Which one's going to have the cleanest water? And what effect does that have? So let's watch. We're going to do the two outside ones first. So we're going to compare how quickly water runs off a driveway, parking lot, roadway compared to how quickly it runs off plain old bare soil and watch to see what happens. Here comes our rain. And notice the runoff. And then we're going to compare that to our grass and our mulch. As you watch the rain happen and notice things happening, there are some things that should be pretty obvious. First of all, it runs off pretty quickly from Pair, um, paved surfaces. It can't soak in. We have a lot of runoff over here. You may have thought, oh, that'd be pretty clean or clear coming from a driveway or a parking lot, but you'll notice it's a little bit dirty. Think about all the things that might be on your driveway or parking lot at home. Um, soap from washing your car, oil and gas that might have leaked, um, litter and trash, any of those kinds of things might get into um, the roadway and if there's a storm drain near your roadway, driveway, parking lot, it's going to run directly from that, um, that storm drain right to a creek, river, lake, or pond. If you'll notice over here in the bare soil, we had a lot of splashing going on. There's a lot of erosion happening over here, that soil washing off the land. If you were a fish, would this be a river you would want to swim in? I would say no. Then we have our mulch and our grass. Little pieces of mulch um, did get in here, but otherwise that water is not too bad. And the grass and the roots are fantastic for holding the soil in place, protecting against erosion. That's important for two reasons. One, we want to keep the soil in its place. Soil is a super important resource. All of our plants need that soil to grow. If we don't have a good healthy soil, we can't grow good healthy plants. We have no food or oxygen. It's kind of a big deal. Then, Water quality issues. If we have all the soil washing off into the land, we have really murky water. That's really hard for the animals in the water to breathe in, to see in, to find their food in. 
This is one of our worst pollution problems in Ohio's rivers. So, best thing we can do to prevent or stop erosion from happening is plant plants. The next best thing is put down some kind of mulch. Remember, bare soil is a problem, turns our soil into dirt. Don't treat your soil like dirt. You need good, healthy soil on the land to grow things. Dirt is the stuff where it's not supposed to be. It's causing a problem for the fish, the animals, things like that. And it's removing that good, healthy topsoil that we need from the land. We can protect our rivers and keep them clean by making sure that we have um, good, healthy cover of some kind. And the taller the plants, the longer the root system. Grow natives, grow trees. That's really going to help. This is a simple experiment. You can even do at home. You can try some different things. Um, but remember, only rain goes down the drain, and don't treat your soil like dirt.